So, first of all, good morning. It is currently uh, 5.42. Um, usually I'm already in the gym for like 45 minutes by now, but I've had a bit of a slow start. And I don't know about you, but if I don't get up to my normal routine straight away, then I kind of feel like I'm a bit lost throughout the day and everything's pushed back. Um, so I almost don't even feel like going to the gym. But we're sat outside the gym at the moment. I've got my pre. Um, let's just let's just go. I'm I'm human, just like everyone else. I don't always feel like being here, but we're here. So, cheers. Let's get into it. Always gonna lick the cap. Let's go. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the house. Uh, I'm about to get in the kitchen, but first I want to show you my protein order that I got that's right there. Uh, I got this sick new like tie-dye oversized tea, which I absolutely love. I also got another one in navy right there. Uh, a little bit annoyed at the moment because they only have 250 gram bags of the vanilla whey. So I had to get four of them to make a kilo, which is a little bit sucking, but it is what it is. Got the five, uh, 250 grams of the chopped brownie as well as 500 grams of the cola pre-workout blend and the fruit punch, which you already know is my favorite. This is my favorite flavor of the Impact Chocolate Whey though. Uh, sorry, the Impact Whey Protein is the white chocolate easily, easily, when I tell you it's my favorite flavor, is not an exaggeration, I absolutely love it. Anyway, that's what we got from my protein this month. Not a huge haul, but you know, a haul nonetheless. Now let's get into that kitchen. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Zachary Kitchen yet again. Uh, in case you can't tell from the name of the video, <laughs> and of course the ingredients that are lying right here in front of me, uh, we're gonna be making a cheeseburger. Now, it's more of like a Zach Donald's quarter pounder. For some reason when I put this on my Instagram, um, people got really upset that I made a, like a, a quarter pounder into a cheeseburger. I don't think they understood what I was doing because I was recreating something. So I'm not gonna make it a hot dog. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, what we've got here is we've got 110 grams of extra lean ground beef or extra lean beef mince formed into a patty slightly bigger than the bun. We have a brioche burger bun, some thinly, not too thinly, but thinly sliced white onion. Of course, a, a slice of the good stuff, American cheese. I use Dairy Lee cheese slices from Coles. I've also got some burger pickles here as well, as some mustard and some ketchup. Now, if you don't want to use that cheese, you do not have to. However, to get that sort of authentic burger taste, I'm definitely gonna use it. It isn't really that high in calories, like one slice is like 70 cals, which is completely fine with me. You can use the low-cal Dairy Lee slices if you like. They're 44 calories. It just won't taste anywhere near the same. I've got a pan over here heating on high right now. Without further ado, let's crack on with the cooking. As you can see, the frying pan is absolutely smoking. Now, I wouldn't advise using a non-stick pan. I'd prefer to use something like a cast iron skillet or a stainless steel pan, but this is all I have. So we're gonna lay the patty down. Go in with some salt. 
and of course some pepper as well. And now, just let that bad boy cook. Now once you can start seeing a little bit of brown around the bottom of the patty, get your spatula under there, give it a flip. Beautiful. As soon as you flip it, you want to top that with your cheese. Now once you have a sneaking suspicion that it is just underdone, remove it from your pan and you want to let that rest on a plate. Now the reason I said slightly underdone and is because it will slowly cook more while, you, while it's resting. So you don't want it to become tough and dry. Give your pan a really quick clean and then of course toast your buns. This will only take like three to four seconds, it really won't take long at all. Just like that. And then we go back over to assemble. All righty, now for assembly on the top bun. We're gonna go with about 15 grams of ketchup, about. You don't have to be really like strict with your measurements here. If you go one or two grams over, it's not gonna make a huge difference to the end result. This is the Heinz less sugar, less salt ketchup. And then of course, about five grams of American mustard as well. Or if you prefer English mustard, that's completely fine. You can use that if you like. Still remaining on the top bun, pickles. An absolute must. I use four bread and butter pickles. Absolutely love bread and butter pickles, mate. And then some onion as well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the beef on first. Just remember that we had to let that rest. And then we're gonna put the onion on top of the beef. If you want to skip any of these ingredients, ingredients, obviously feel free. Like I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm not your dad. I don't, you don't have to do exactly as I do. It's just uh, this is how they make it at McDonald's, and this is how we make it at Zach Donald's. It is what it is. All right, that's enough onion for me. Now just flip the lid on top, and there's exactly what we were looking for. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Let's get a closer look. Honestly, look at that. Like, you cannot deny that that makes McDonald's look like absolute not as good as that. Now, let's talk numbers because we all know that's why you're here. You want macro-friendly recipes, right? Let's talk about it. Calories for the whole burger, 420 calories. Compared to McDonald's, like 570 for the quarter pounder, I'd say that's pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good. Carbs, 32 grams of carbs. Protein, 33 grams of protein. And fat, 16 grams of fat. Now, obviously that will change if you use a fat-free cheese, which we don't have access to in Australia. But if you're in America, you can definitely do that. Of course, we need a taste test. The best thing about it is that the beef isn't dry at all. And because of the basic taste that McDonald's has, like it tastes exactly like McDonald's with a fraction of the calories. Of course, if you want McDonald's and you don't care about the calories, then eat McDonald's. Uh, but this is an awesome lower calorie alternative if you are looking for one. Anyway, thank you guys for so much for tuning into the video. Like, subscribe, do all that fun jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Why are you still here? I literally say goodbye. You're actually just gonna... You're gonna sit here and watch me eat the whole burger? I'm trying. It's a little bit weird.
But if you're enjoying it, mm. actually, here's something for you. My cookbook, very, very close to being released. Very close. If you watch this and you want the cookbook, use the discount code YouTube and you'll get 50% off when it's released. I promise. Thanks if you watched this far. See you in the next one.